Welcome to Buff Zone. My name is Kyle Ringo. This is Ryan Thorburn. We cover the Colorado football team for the Daily Camera newspaper. Ryan is filling in for Neil Welk this week. Neil's uh, not feeling well. And uh, Ryan, the Buffs travel to Iowa State this week. They haven't uh, won on the road in more than two in two years now. And you know what? I, you've watched this team all season long. What, what are your expectations? Do you think that they can finally turn the corner on the road this week? Well, first let me say that I've uh, covered CU basketball. This will be my third year. I've never seen them win a Big 12 road game, uh, and you're not far behind, and that's the key. They have got to win this game in Ames, Iowa. They need to put their foot down and win a road game. I mean, this sounds ridiculous when we think about what we were talking about before the season, but CU at Iowa State, in my opinion, is the biggest game of Dan Hawkins' career at CU so far. They've got to make a stand here. Yeah, you know, uh, this team once again has a little bit of momentum, has taken some of its fans back off the ledge a little bit after beating Texas A&M at home last week, a uh, rousing come-from-behind victory. Tyler Hansen throws a touchdown pass in the fourth quarter to give the Buffs the win. And, uh, you know, I think there's a good feeling, but this is very reminiscent of, you know, just a few weeks ago when they beat Kansas at home. Then they went on the road the next week, and they looked like a completely different team. They were sloppy and turning the ball over, committing a bunch of penalties at Kansas State. They looked just totally different and disinterested and not ready to play that day in Manhattan. And they cannot do that against Iowa State because it just ratchets up the tension once again and uh, calls into question, you know, the effectiveness of the coaching they're receiving. And this whole road losing streak is, is just beginning to snowball and it's beginning to, you know, carry a weight of its own, in my opinion. I mean, every time you get to a road game now, the, the same old questions start getting asked of these players and they have it in their mind all week long. We're going on the road. We haven't won on the road. You know, how do, what do we need to do differently? Those sorts of things. And, and so I think you're exactly right about that. They have to get a road win, and what better place to do it than Iowa State? And what was frustrating about that K-State game, um, I mean, Coach Snyder's been around for decades, but he, this is his first year back in rebuilding Part 2 in Manhattan, and they don't have any pieces in place. I mean, they're playing hard. They might win the North, which is crazy. He's the coach of the year in the Big 12 and all that. I get that. But now Iowa State, you're dealing with another first-year coach. They had major coaching turmoil last year with um, transition, one coach leaving for Auburn, then they hire an Auburn guy to come in. It was, it's just a mess. I understand they have some talent in place at quarterback, but this is another first-year coach versus Dan in his fourth year where, I mean, you have to win this game. You've got more pieces in place than they do. There's no excuses. Yeah, it, and that's the way we started this season. And, you know, uh, Alexander Robinson is the running back for Iowa State. He's had a great year. Iowa State's been able to run the ball pretty effectively against most teams they've played this year. And obviously Colorado's going to have to stop that first and foremost. They're going to have to do like they did last week against Texas A&M and be able to run the ball themselves with, uh, with Rodney Stewart. The, the Colorado offense is a totally different offense each week when it can run the ball. When it can't run the ball, it, it's much more easy to defend. The play-action aspect of the, of the uh, offense is totally taken out of the equation when they can't run the ball. And uh, so those are two keys to the game. Then obviously, Colorado's uh, one of the most penalized teams in the nation. You can't go to Iowa State and commit nine, ten penalties like they've been doing each week. They have to cut down on the penalties, be smart, play a fundamentally sound you know, uh, game, and then they can't turn the ball over, and they have to win the turnover battle. Uh, Iowa State is not a fun place to play at this time of year. It's often windy. A couple of years ago, uh, four years ago actually, there was a tornado warning that uh, kind of chased everybody out of the stadium before the game even started. And, uh, you know, a couple of years ago, uh, it was really windy that day, and, and passing the ball was difficult. So. Uh, the Buffs have to be prepared for a lot of that, and they just have to go in there with a tough mental attitude and, and get a win on the road. Well, they need to get a good start, unlike K-State, where they had one good drive and then just pretty much fell to pieces. So they need to get a good start, but two years ago they were dominating this game. You probably had half your gamer written, uh, CU wins at Iowa State, 
and then they completely choke in the fourth quarter. So they need to put 60 minutes together uh, and win this game, and then that sets up a big game at Oklahoma State. But uh, if they lose at Iowa State, that basically cancels out the Texas A&M win, in my opinion. Yeah, me too. And you, you mentioned the Oklahoma State game. That'll be just, uh, what, five days later, another Thursday night game, another short turnaround uh, so this game is is definitely important. You mentioned what happened a couple of years ago. That was a that was just a bizarre game. They got up 21 to nothing. Dan Hawkins goes for it on the first drive of the second half in his own territory. Gives them the ball on downs. They score a few plays later, and they run off 31 consecutive points. It's 31-21. Colorado comes back a little bit, and then on the last couple of plays of the game, they're trying to kick kick a uh, tying field goal and. And first, the uh, referees whistle it and say that they snap the ball too soon. And then they snap it, kick a 55-yard field goal, and they say they didn't get it off. So that that is kind of stuck with the few members of this team who were there that day. And and you know, but I, I don't know if they if the Buffs need something like that to fuel them. I think everything that rides on this game should fuel them without even have to having to go back to to what happened two years ago. I mean. You know, they're still their their hopes for winning the Big 12 North are on life support, but they're there. They still have a chance to to go to a bowl game. Uh, I'm not sure how many people believe that's going to happen, but you know, if they can win three games, they can make that happen. So uh, you just need a more focused, more ready team uh, to show up in Ames, Iowa, on Saturday. I don't think there's any question if CU wins their last four games and goes to a bowl that Dan Hawkins will be in good shape. He'll be back next year. You know, it's a step in the right direction, blah, blah, blah. But if they lose to Iowa State, Oklahoma State, and then possibly end it with a loss to Nebraska, whew, I wouldn't want to be Mike Bone. Yeah, me either. <laughs> it's a, so it's a tough, let's focus uh, on this week. They, they, get, they have Iowa State. I think that's a very winnable game. Just take it one at a time. Yeah, I think uh, this week uh, – I just haven't seen anything from the Buffs this year in terms of them going on the road and and playing a complete game on the road that tells me they're going to do it in a place where they've historically had, had trouble. And uh, so I'm going with Iowa State, but I think it's going to be close, and I wouldn't be surprised if it comes down to a field goal again. I'll, I'll say Iowa State wins 26-23. to 23. All right, since I'm sitting in Neil's chair, I will say CU 20, Iowa State 19. Wow. All right. We'll come back next week and we'll figure out what happened and where the bus go from here.